What's up you guys, it's Key Amber Vaughn, aka Coach Key, coming back to you with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome, and if you're not new, welcome back. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and also tap the bell so that you are notified of every new video that I post. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it's time for me to do the week one budget results for the June paycheck. If you are trying to follow the F that budget version of my budget method then this is not gonna be the video for you that video is gonna be coming up next all right my ring light looked like it was gonna fall over so the walmart here does not sell the erasable pens that i use so i'm gonna have to do permanent one last time <sighs> please god help me guide my fingers don't let me make no mistakes <laughs> okay so fixed expenses, there still was none. So let's go ahead and do the variable expenses, which of course we have to go back to our expense tracker. And as you guys can see, I do not have a lot of expenses this week. I really didn't do very much. That's just how it is sometimes for me. I'm not holding myself back from spending or anything, but I know this coming week will be a bit more spending because I need to buy my cousin's birthday gift. I need to buy my birthday gift for myself. So, and that's going to be pretty expensive. And I might get my hair done this week. If not, I'll get it closer to my birthday. So first we have restaurants and we started off at 150. And then I have one more. Then we have groceries. I spent way more than I typically would on groceries this week. Um, and I don't really have an answer as to why, to be honest with you. I bought some stuff that I actually didn't even um, use or, yeah, I didn't even use this week. So it'll help me with my dinners for next week so I ain't tripping. So I got the Maybelline... I think it's like matte poreless foundation or something. I've been trying to find another foundation for such a long time. And this one seems to be a match. And it was only six bucks after taxes. Like I've been trying out $40 foundations and all kinds of stuff. Then I bought my leave-in conditioner. I haven't gotten this in probably like six months. One bottle has lasted me this whole time. And then last but not least is my supplements. I started off at 100 and I spent $70.87. That's for two of my supplements. <clears throat> so what did the budget start off at? $15.10. So for groceries, we have $170.97. I might go over the, that this month, the $260, but I'm going to try my hardest not to. Personal household, we still got 7046. Miscellaneous, we still got the whole 300. Then restaurants, we still have 12361. Supplements, 2913. Travel, 150, which I'm probably actually I'm pretty sure I'm not going on that trip. So I'm gonna end up probably putting this elsewhere, probably to miscellaneous or spend. Yeah, probably miscellaneous. I'm not really sure yet. Um, gas, I still have the whole 250. I'm going to end up getting gas Sunday, Saturday morning before I drive back to St. Louis. Shopping, I have the whole 100. And my hair, I have the whole 100 as well. So this is what we're left with. And if I take that and subtract the 1510, that means that I spent 5170. Yeah, that looks about right. 215.83. So let's get back to the paycheck to paycheck budget. So I spent in total. 215.83. But part of that, you guys see my supplements is broken down out of that. So supplements, I spent 70.87. So I had the 29.13 to put here that I was under budget. Um 
which means if I take the 215.83 and I subtract the 70.87 that was for my supplements, this is how much I spent on the budget. So if I subtract 290, I was 145.04 under budget. And then as far as the savings, I did send all of this as shown. So I'm just going to go ahead and add up this column over here. So we got 145.04 plus 2913. That gives me a surplus of 174.17. So let's scroll down to the bottom. And I still have this really awkward way I have to do my tripod. Sorry. 4,000, 2741.05, 67.41.05, fixed was zero, variable was 215.83, and savings, oh no, oh my goodness. So this just made me remember, I forgot to tell you guys, I did make an error here. My checking was supposed to be 931.10, and I'm not done on the other page yet, but this just made me think about that. 931.10 instead of 911.10. I just put it in my calculator wrong that particular time, but this calculation was correct. So, all right, let's go back. So we got the 1809.95. So... Let's see what our checking is supposed to be at. So we got 67.4105 minus 215.83 minus 1809.95 equals 47.15.27. <clears throat> and I actually have 47.15.22 in there. And I promise you it's probably because of the um, Amazon. No, it's not Amazon. That's right. I can see this number in my bank account. 1135-1504-9551-2311-7. Okay, so maybe I'll just put it into my calculator wrong. All right, 1135.15.04. Now I'm just going upwards of all the expenses to see what I did wrong. 215.88 is what it's supposed to be. So what did I do? I'm not sure. But 215.88 is what was spent. So 15.10 minus 215.88. It's 1294.12. Thankfully, this is easy for me to change. So we got 88. Okay, so um, after recording, I kind of came back to see where my error was. Basically, I did this calculation wrong. The 260 minus 8908 is 170.92. And that's the difference of five cents. So that's where the problem lies. So that gives me, <clears throat> what did I say the number was? 47, 15, 22. So that is where we're at. So basically I have $700 to spend in the next week before I get paid again, uh, before it starts to be like a panic because now I have spent every penny that I've made before my next paycheck, which that's not gonna happen. I will probably end up spending about 400 of that $700 because the gift I wanna give myself is kind of expensive. So yeah, so that's where we're at. I think that everything is going pretty well so far. Like I said, if you are interested in the F That Budget version of this, stay tuned because that video is premiering right after this one. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Please thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.